There are many Muslims that are firm believers that their book, the Quran, is perfectly preserved and without error. While we will not be discussing here the errors in the Quran, we will be talking about its preservation, or lack thereof. While there are many aspects in the compiling of the book, there are credible Muslim sources that prove the Quran is not complete, therefore not preserved. Sahih al-Bukhari, Volume 6, Book 61, Hadith 509, narrated Zayd bin Tabit. I went to him, and found Umar bin al-Khattab sitting with him. Abu Bakr then said to me, Umar has come to me and said, Casualties were heavy among the Korah of the Quran, i.e. those who knew the Quran by heart, on the day of battle of Umama, and I am afraid that more heavy casualties may take place among the Korah on the other battlefields, whereby a large part of the Quran may be lost. Oof, that's not good. While these men were slain in this and other battlefields, a large chunk of the Quran was to be lost in this bloodbath. In the very next hadith, we see some shocking treatment of the supposed scriptures of Islam by one of Muhammad's closest companions, Uthman ibn Affan. Sahih al-Bukhari, Volume 6, Book 61, Hadith 510, narrated Anas bin Malik. They did so, and when they had written many copies, Uthman returned the original manuscripts to Hafsa. Uthman sent to every Muslim province one copy of what they had copied, and ordered that all the other Quranic materials, whether written in fragmentary manuscripts or whole copies, be burnt. Yikes, that's a strange command. Why would he command that whole copies be burned if it is indeed the word of Allah? Why not verify what was already there, if it was perfectly preserved through the majority of manuscripts? There are more writings from accredited Muslim sources that prove that the Quran, at bare minimum, is not as preserved as some Imams would like you to think. Don't take my word for it, take Muhammad's father-in-law and what he has to say. Umar ibn al-Khattab, Suyuti Itkan, Part 3, Page 72 let no one of you say that he has acquired the entire Quran, for how does he know that it is all? Much of the Quran has been lost. Thus let him say, I have acquired of it what is available. As presented here, this is what some of the followers of Muhammad had to say about the Quran, the foundation of Islam. The Quran goes on saying, the Bible is the perfect word sent from Allah, which the Bible itself makes sure to detail. Isaiah 40 verse 8, the grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever.